Colton White is an 18-year-old. Also, he's a student at Sanford University in Birmingham. Also, also, he's a diffuse large B-cell lymphoma cancer survivor. Also, 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 he's a scuba diving guru and a lover of spearfishing. Though, some might call it an obsession. Just being in the element, you know, seeing the, the sharks swim by, seeing the fish swim by, um, the soundless feeling of being underwater, and just the adrenaline rush when you do shoot a fish. And that's what makes it so special because you're at that point one with nature. You're actually in the element. And though spear fishing might be a new sport to many of you, as when I say fishing, you probably envision traditional hook and line fishing. For Colton's family, just like the Gulf waters, the spear runs deep. Diving has always been kind of like our family sport. My dad got certified in the 90s, and then when him and my mom got married, uh, she got certified, and then uh, my aunt and uncle was certified, and my brother got certified. And so right when I could get certified, I did. And then we started spear fishing. Um, I got my first spear gun when I was 13, and so like in high school, everyone had their thing that they did, you know. Some people have football, some people have baseball, but uh, mom was spearfishing. So Colton wanted to take that love and use it to give back. So he helped start the Die for a Cure spearfishing tournament right here in Panama City. Portions of the tournament's proceeds will be given to cancer research labs and children's hospitals. You put in so much hard work into it and finally having, um, you know, the fruits of your labor being produced and seeing people enjoy it and then getting to help others who aren't getting to be here. It's great to bring in big fish, but at the end of the day, it's not the money. It's just how much love is poured into the fact of the need to help people struggling, fighting terrible disease that we call cancer. Colton said he was fortunate enough to receive top-level care and medicine during his treatment that provided him this second chance at life. His hope is Die for a Cure will help make a difference in other kids' lives by giving them the opportunity at life.